Hello there, and we're going to do a little uh, wiggle today. We're going to just explore how to use the wiggle command with a slider control. The wiggle expression, always popular. Let's just do a new composition. 12, 87, 20, 10 seconds long. That's all fine. Okie dokie. And I've just got this Hollywood JPEG here. I'm just going to drop that in. And uh, we're going to wiggle this to make a kind of a earthquake type effect. So first of all, uh, we're going to do a... I'm just going to scale it up and because we're going to shake it about it needs to be bigger than the edge of the frame so that when it moves we don't get black bars around the edge uh, that should do it and now I'm going to just type in P get my position up I'm going to alt click on that and I'm just going to type in wiggle here we go open brackets let's wiggle it say 10 by 50 okay so we've done that and there we got wiggly Hollywood sign. But of course, the problem is we want it to ramp up. We want it to start small, start and, and then get shaky and then get back to normal. So how do we do that when the wiggle is a typed in command? Well, and, and it's just the same for the whole clip. Well, the easy way to do it is just to go to effects and presets. I'm just going to type in slider. OK, I'm just going to pop a slider control on here. Now we've got our slider effect. And what we want to do is, first of all, I'm just going to take the number 10. I'm going to highlight that. And then I'm going to take the pick whip from the position expression. And I'm going to drop it on the slider. There we go. And by magic, it's rewritten the expression so that now the first parameter, which is how many times per second, is controlled by the slider. So there you go. So, of course, now when I play it, nothing moves because the slider is set at zero. So what we can do is we can go to here. And on the slider, I can set a keyframe and then maybe at th three seconds, it can start just shaking a little bit. There we go. Ooh. And then we can have it go. Shake a lot. Really, whoa, really juttery by the time it gets there. So it goes. Now it's going crazy. Uh, we can keep that going for a little bit. I'll just hit U to get my keyframes up, put a keyframe there, and then by the end, let's just have it go back to zero. <laughs> so I've added some keyframes there, and then, and then it stops very quickly. So uh, we'll we'll just we'll just make that a little. It goes down. There we go. See how it's going in the slider there, it's going up and down with the slider controls. Okay, but we also want it to start jiggling little small movements, incremental, and then get bigger. So what we need to do is just go back to our uh, P, P, there we go. And we can take this, add another slider control to the layer, and take our second number, which is of course the amount by which it moves randomly, attach that to the slider. So now, woohoo. Okay, now it's not moving at all because, it's, again, it's set to zero. So let's add some keyframes there and then I'll go to where the next keyframe is and let's have it wiggle by a little bit. So it starts. And then we can have it maybe there. And then by the end, we can just bring it back to zero. Oops, zero. There we go. So, of course, you can play about with these a lot. There we go. Check it about. And now we come back down. Not bad. And, of course, what really sells this is we turn on motion blur. So, I'll turn that on. Of course, we have to turn it on also for the layer. And so, when it starts blurring, now it looks, of course, it's taking longer to render. But it looks much more like a kind of earthquakey type effect once we've got that camera shake going on. Okay, so that's how to add slider control uh, to the wiggle expression. Of course, you can add slider control to all kinds of expressions, but uh, there you go. Wiggle's always popular. Thank you.